Okay, so we have kind of just done a review of how to submit some stuff on Canvas throughout this week. We, you guys have practiced doing video submissions, picture submissions, text submissions. And so you got to choose in reading, and then we're gonna talk about a little math activity, and then you're gonna to get to choose how to submit something again in math today, all right? So today is your chance to get us to learn a little bit more about you, but also practice some math and kind of show off your math skills and what you remember from third grade in math and what you remember from what you've already done in math in the past. So I'm gonna open my PowerPoint. I'm gonna go ahead and go back onto Zoom and share my screen. My stomach doesn't look good. I don't feel good. So can you guys see my PowerPoint on the screen? Give me a thumbs up if you, uh oh, whoops, let me do that. Thumbs up if you can see my mat, my screen. That says math about me. Good deal. Okay. So we'll see. How do I slideshow? There we go. All right. So today, your goal um, in doing math about me is going to be able to review some of the skills you guys have already worked on in math in the past, like in previous years, and practice skills uh, and a get to know you math activity. All right, so you're gonna create some math problems and solutions to teach us a little bit about yourself, but also to practice some of your math skills and show off what you know. So this is what it's gonna look like. It says, figure me out. If you want to create something that looks like this at home, you are welcome to recreate something like this on paper. You're also welcome to record a video that answers the questions or just type the text in a box and submit it that way. But you're gonna create and solve problems that teach facts about yourself and you're gonna make sure you include the problem and the answer. All right, everybody right now, unmute yourself and tell me what are the two things you have to include in this assignment? The problem and the answer. The problem and the answer. All right. Problem everybody, answer. All right, go, go ahead and mute yourself again. Thank you. But yeah, the problem and the answer. So there are eight problems, eight things you need to teach us about yourself. And I'm going to show you some of those examples. So the first one, my age. So for how old are you, you are going to make a math problem to show us how old you are. All right, we'll go over some examples in a second. Birth month. That means the number of the month. So for example, I was born in August. So my birth month is eight, right? So my answer, my number answer for that would be eight because August is the eighth month. Birth date would be the day you were born on. So my birthday is August 16th. So that means that one would be 16. So for how old are you? It'd be 28. Birth month, my number would be eight. And my birth date would be the 16th, okay? Letters in my name. You can choose to do just your first name, or you can choose to add your first and last name for the total number of letters. That is your choice, all right? People in your family, that includes you or any siblings and parents. So if it's just you and your parents, if it's just you, a mom and a dad, three. If it's just you and mom, two. If it's you, a brother and mom, three, okay? So that's the number of people in your immediate family. So not like your cousins and everything like that, just your siblings and parents. Number of pets is how many animals are in your house. So Michael, for example, has two. Michael, you have two dogs. Do you have fish too, Michael? Yes. So Michael would count his two dogs plus all of his fish. So I think he said, if I remember right, like 16 fish. So if he had 16 fish and two dogs, he would be 18. All right. Address would be just the house number or the apartment number, y'all. We're not doing street name, anything like that. So I live, the number of my house is 19. Okay, some people might be like 343. Your apartment number might be one. Just depends on where you live. So that's just the number, no street name or zip code. And then the last thing is your shoe size. Okay, so remember, you're not just putting the number. You are creating a math problem that goes with the number. Okay, so... Here is my example for one. So my age is 28. So there are, you can make additions and problems, subtraction problems, multiplication. So for example, if I was doing 28, I could say 14 years plus 14 equals 28. Shows my age. I could do 128 minus 100 equals 28. That gets to my age. Or I could do seven times four equals 28. That shows my age. 
Do I need to do all three? Shake your head yes or no. Do I need to do three examples? I only see like three people shaking their head. So shake your head yes or no. Do I need to do three for each one? No, just one. All right, those are just examples of different choices. So I just need to do one problem that shows 28. All right, so like if Clay was, Clay, show me on your fingers. How many, how old are you? Nine, okay. So Clay could do nine times one. Clay could do 18 minus nine. Clay could do 20 minus 11. Any problem, but he needs to make sure he has the problem and that it equals nine. All right, so one problem for each question. Here's a few expectations. Include a problem for each section of the box on the assignment. Include a digital version so you can either type it up your answers and submit it as a text. You can make your own version with pictures at home or you can use that paper as a guide and do that at home and kind of like copy what the paper looks like. Each problem you create, you need to solve the problem. Okay, so I don't wanna just see a problem. I don't wanna just see your solution. I wanna see the problem and the solution. All right, so your job today, and we'll go through how to get there in just a second, is to create the Math About Me problems and complete the activity. Submit it as text entry, video, or a recording. And then you can do Dreambox or practice math facts when you are done. All right, so I'm gonna get out of my PowerPoint, go to my Canvas page. We should all be almost pros at this by now. So if I'm on my Canvas page, I'm going to click on what? Somebody unmute yourself and tell me where I click. Friday. Friday, thank you. Friday. Yep. Friday, and then I click what? Math. Math. Yeah. Yep, and then today's math assignment. So if you need an example, all the questions are right here. Age, month, birthday, letters, people in the family, number of pets, house number, and shoe size. Miss Weibel went through and she made an example of all of her own. Yes or no, say it out loud. Should you copy the work that Miss Weibel has on here? No. 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 That's all her information. This should be stuff that goes with yours. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to student view. And I'm going to show you how you could do this as a text entry. All right, so I'm going to go to math and my assignment. So if you're doing a text entry, you're going to go down. And it has all these options. I'm gonna click submit assignment. I'm gonna click on text entry, right? So I could put my age, and then I'm gonna put 14 plus 14 equals 28. My birth month. I'm gonna do 16, actually I'm gonna do eight times two, E or sorry, whoops, birth month. Eight times one equals eight. And I can type them in like that. I could also click media, record. And I could record a video of myself holding up my paper and talking about my different ones. Or last one, I could do take a picture and do file upload. Choose a picture of, like I can go down to, let's see, math about me and I could upload that, right? My math about me picture right there on there. So any of those ways to submit the assignment is fine, okay? Remind me again, I'm gonna stop my screen share. What two things do you need to include? What two things do you need to include on each of the math about me boxes? Ania. Ania, we can't hear you, girl. I know you're unmuted, but we still can't hear you. Try unplugging your headphones real fast. Okay, what do we need to include, Ania? No, keep your headphones unplugged. I don't think your headphones have a microphone. So, Powering off. So, Ania, keep your headphones unplugged and then tell us what two things we need to include. We can hear you now, Ania. The problem and the answer. Yep, the problem for each number and the answer for each number. Okay, everybody know what your job is? Okay, so when, before you log off, I would like you to type 
in the chat box the two things you need to include, okay? These people, I need to stay on. All right, 